Okay y'all, I'm going to show you a little bit of tips on what I know about still hunting. And I'm not really good at it, but I've been doing it here and there and learn a little bit. And one thing I've learned is the deer almost always will see you before you see them. So you can't go slow enough. Now, it's still hunting, you're trying to move through the woods, but keep in mind the word still, you want to be spending a lot more time being still than, than walking. That means taking in all your surroundings, looking for the slightest flicker, seeing if it's a bird, a squirrel, or maybe a deer's tail, and then taking one step at a time. Because every time you take a step, the woods changes in front of you and you can see something you couldn't see before. And uh, use your peripheral vision. You may not see detail off the corner of your eye, but you can sure see movement and so can the deer, and that's what they're looking for. They don't have as good vision as we do, but they can pick up movement very well, and that's why you can sneak through a whole bunch of woods looking like Elmer Fudd and never see a deer, because you're sneaking through the woods too quick and the deer all see you first, or hear you. So you want to be quiet. Try to avoid, avoid stepping on sticks. That's one thing I hate, is the sound of a stick popping under my foot, and that's one sound that usually tells me some bigger critter like a deer is coming through the woods when something pops a twig, so try to make every step quiet and just slow down you, you gotta have some patience and that's what I'm gonna be doing this evening I'm gonna be heading farther into the woods as the Sun goes down hopefully some deer will start to show up as it gets a little later you notice it's windy that's great for covering my movement a little bit but I still got to be slow I'm on public land and I've not seen a sign anyone else is here because obviously I don't want to walk up in someone's setup because uh, I mean, that happens sometimes, but you want to try to avoid that. So I don't think anybody's back here. Another very important thing is the wind, obviously. If the deer get downwind, they're going to smell you. Especially since you're on the ground, you're not in a tree, it's not going to blow over them. I'm facing downhill into a little bit of a holler down here. And I'm going to be going through some slightly hilly terrain with a creek nearby. The wind is going to be in my face most of the way I'm going, unless it swirls down in those hollers. Uh, so start off with the wind in your face at least. I know there's deer in here. I'm after a doe. I uh, don't have any more buck tags left. I messed up and shot a spike last weekend. Me and my buddy both looking through scopes thought it was a doe. So it happens. Be careful of your uh, target. And if it's getting dark out, just don't shoot if you're not sure. Anyways, I'm after a doe today. And uh, that's all it will take is any kind of deer that doesn't have antlers if... Uh, if it's not a button buck, hopefully, um, I'll be going after a doe this evening. If you are scanning the woods and something catches your your eye, you look. There's a flicker behind the tree trunk. Something just went behind the tree. You don't know if it was a bird or a squirrel or maybe a deer. Don't start taking a few steps to try to see what it was, because that's how you get busted if it was a deer. A lot of times a deer will catch you trying to look left and right, trying to move around to get a look. Just stand there, still as you can, and watch that spot. If it's a squirrel or a bird, you may see it again, or it may have flown off or gone up the tree. If it's a deer, it's probably going to show itself sooner or later. If you wait a couple minutes and don't see anything, you can go on and take another step, continue with your hunt, but don't go craning your neck around, stepping around, stomping up the woods trying to see something. You just want to stand still and take it all in before each step. See I haven't moved very far down this hill yet. It's been at least 15 minutes and I've gone about 40 yards. 
and I'm going to slow down once I get into the better woods where I'm thinking the deer are more likely to be at this evening. So as I get farther into the woods, I'm going to be filming less, but stay with me because I'll be sure to keep you all up to date on what I'm seeing this evening. So now I'm down in this little creek bed where I can stop and stretch and, and uh, move around for a second before I climb up the other side and then I'm going to go back into stealth mode. This wouldn't be a bad spot to catch a deer crossing the creek before dark, but I wouldn't get very long to shoot and I probably wouldn't be able to get any video for y'all because they'd just be crossing it more than likely and probably wouldn't stop. So uh, I'm going to keep moving on with the plan, head through this creek bottom up towards the hardwoods. So I want to get to where I can see at least 40, 50 yards or more. I like thickets, but with this kind of hunting, you're better off if you can see a little ways. But I'm going to be still, I'm always going to be close to the thickets. And I'm going to be real still and take every step, one step at a time, real careful. And uh, I've seen about four armadillos so far. Haven't seen a squirrel, which is okay. It's just extra noise that gets you looking, but it's good to be looking all the time and listening. So we're gonna head on up this creek bank. This is armadillo number eight. I'm in a good spot right now where I can see up the hillside to my left and I can see off in the creek bottom to my right. And uh, not really open shot either way, but if I do catch a movement of a deer either way, I'll be able to use the trees to my advantage to sneak one way or the other. But for now, I'm staying in the middle where these cedar trees are so I can um, see both ways. either a doe or a button buck. looked like a good sized doe but it sounded like a fawn when it blew at me but it came running full speed right behind me and I turned around just in time to see it come up and see me and turn around and run back and stop and look at me so it blew and ran up the hill and stopped for a while and I was about to get a second shot I could only see the back half of the deer um, but it ended up blowing and running off up, up over the hill. I got about 15 minutes of light left. Probably best just to stay here and pay attention to the woods.
Well, I, uh, today I saw four squirrels, three deer, and eight armadillos. Uh, armadillos tempted me the whole way, but I never noticeably jumped any deer. I took my time getting down into that creek bottom, and uh, I knew it was a good spot. First, I had this deer run up behind me full speed. I turned around just in time to see it get about 20 yards, 15 yards, and stop and do a 180 and run back and then stopped about 25 yards away and stared at me and then it blew and ran up the hill and I tried to get a shot on it as you saw me sneaking up on it but uh, it spooked and ran off over the hill before I could do anything about it that was either a doe or a really big button buck I couldn't tell for sure but then I had two more deer coming in as you saw and I was I had them in the scope I was about to shoot the first one and it it was a yearling buck and uh, being tagged out I couldn't couldn't shoot another buck anyways but wouldn't want to um and then the one behind him I had a feeling and it was another yearling buck so I saw some deer I'd say it was a successful evening even though I didn't kill anything hope I showed you a, a few a few things that might help you it's still hunting deer if you decide to sneak through the woods rather than sit down and when I got to that spot I kind of did sit down there at the end but uh that's because the deer started moving and I couldn't go very much farther anyway, so I had uh, that one deer run up on me and then those other two come up. I was in a good spot. So if you're in a good spot or you want to co cover a bigger area than you can see and you want to walk through it all, uh, morning's a great time to do it uh, as well because deer will move throughout the morning, whereas in the evening you're running out of daylight and all that. So uh, hope that helped uh, give you a couple of tips. and. Uh, Maybe next time I will shoot one, so stick with me. I'll, uh, I'll have some more hunting for you in the next weekend.